How's it going, everybody? Nerds Rising here, and welcome back to the Nerd Cave. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at some Great League battles featuring Latios and Shadow Latias on the same team, and I am super excited for these battles. I was hoping to get them out a little bit earlier in the week. Unfortunately, uh, PokeDan332 here didn't send me these battles until like the last day of the Great League, and I just really haven't had time to make a video yet. So. I'm making it now just because this team is super cool and also just to remind you guys that I am now accepting viewer submitted battles. I do have a Google Drive form set up and you will be seeing the link to that in this video and all future videos in the description. So keep an eye out for that and if you guys can send me battles more regularly, it will help me get content out a little bit more often as well because I'm just really busy. I still work full time and I have a six month old at home so I just have very limited time to make videos and definitely don't play all my battles every day. So the more submissions you guys can send me, the more content you're basically gonna be seeing. So I do ask if you can try to get me the content with a couple days before the, the leagues rotate, just so I have enough time to make the videos. But either way, I'm super excited to show these Great League videos, and I do have some more uh, Psychic Cup battles and some Ultra League content coming your way later in the week, probably even tomorrow as well. So. Before this intro gets too long, let's jump right into these battles. And thank you again to PokeDan332 for sending these in. I have not seen these yet, so I'm extremely excited to see what Latios and Shadow Latios can do in the Open Great League. So getting into the first battle here, we have Deoxys into Reggie here. So pretty good matchup for the Deoxys here. Not the worst matchup for Reggie, but does have two better responses in the back. So gonna safe switch into the Latios, which I do like. And Latios should resist the standard move set of DD here, but this one's actually running Rock Slide, so a little unfortunate here for Poke Dan, but these Dragon Breaths and Dragon Claws really are going to add up quite a bit, so I'm imagining that the opponent will probably have to switch out of here at some point, and they're actually just going to let that Claw go, and he gets to another one before they throw again, which is perfect. And now, even if this thing switches out, his Registeel is going to have a much easier time facing this. And they actually do switch out and they don't throw their energy and they bring in a Gallade here. So now can bring in the Charm Latias and absolutely destroy this Gallade. And, and they don't even build up to a close combat here. This is just a Leaf Blade and Pokedan knows his counts and he calls it very nicely done. And look at the Charms just absolutely destroy that Gallade. Oh my goodness. And now going to bring in the Deoxys again actually. Going to throw energy but he gets the Charm through and now... I think he should be able to charm this thing down before it gets to another move, and he does. What do they have in the back? And they have a gold bat in the back, and gonna get to a move, and gonna get the last shield here, and now can get this shield and just bring in the Reggie, and basically now has a full health Reggie into a shiny gold bat, and this is a GG, and the opponent is gonna stay in and throw a move, which is crazy, but... Props to the opponent for staying it, and they bait with a Poison Fang, absolutely savage, and now the opponent's going to surrender, so GG's there. Um, you love to see opponents just having no idea what to do when they see Spice, so very nicely played in game one. And uh, if you guys are noticing as well, uh, this Latios is actually running Solar Beam, so I am really hoping we get to see a Solar Beam land in this video, so. And by the way, uh, I know I mentioned the viewer submitter submitted battles in the intro, if you guys are able to submit 10 battles, that'd be great. Otherwise, the video is going to be a little bit shorter, but that's totally fine either way. And, and this battle here, we had a Bastiodon lead into our Reggie, and the opponent safe switch into a Shadow Vic. So Latios going to come in. I like the undercharge there and gets another Dragon Breath, which is perfect. And so far, this opponent is getting hard countered by a Latios, so you love to see that. And is he going to make the Solar Beam here? That'd be super nice. And no, he wasn't going to make it there. So going to settle for the Claw. But the nice thing here is this guarantees that this Bastionon is now in Focus Blast range. And I'm assuming that he will just let the Flamethrower go as well. Because Flamethrower is non-stab and just really not going to be doing a lot to this Reggie. And yeah, just going to let it go. Doesn't do a lot of damage. Do they have a second Razor Leaper in the back? That would be crazy if they did. And they have a Metacham, which is even better. He banks the Focus Blast. He's going to bring in the Charm Latias and could probably just barely take a nice punch. But yeah, going to respect it, knowing that these Charms are now going to do so much damage. And yeah, unfortunately it gets baited, but the Charms are just destroying this Medi. And even if they take him out here his Reggie can just come in and just lock on down and they actually bait with a puff again and now just charms down and now gonna get to the thunder here and basically this is now a GG because if they shield 
he can just double focus blast the Bastion on, and they recognize that, they let it go. But now, I think he can just fast move beat down this Bastion on, and those charms are doing so much still. And now he can just double resist it, lock on, farm down the Reggie. And the opponent is actually going to lose this one with two shields, so absolutely crazy seeing a Medicham and Vic get hard countered by a Latios and a Latios. And the opponent there running a very meta team, and Pokedan does not care about meta teams in this video, so... Moving on into the third battle already, again, these are going to be pretty quick battles, just five. Um, so a little bit shorter, I probably won't even be able to do a, a full-length intro either, just because I think that would probably spoil like the entire like set if I put the intro up. So uh, into the Azu here in the next battle, and this is pretty nice actually to see this here. So going to farm up, and the opponent is staying in, and they actually make a pretty nice catch onto the Awok. Not really sure if it was a catch actually, because kind of needed to chip this thing first anyway because yeah I can't really stay in but yeah this is not a great situation for his Latios because I think a Shadow Bone probably would just about KO here so I don't know what probably will respect it yeah it does respect it and it was actually a Shadow Ball so that definitely would have KO'd so nice shield there but oh my goodness I'm just realizing he's getting close to the Solar Beam unfortunately the opponent gets to the move but he's actually gonna shield I was gonna say unfortunate there because typically when you shield it kind of cues the opponent in that you're running a nuke, but uh, does the opponent even know about Solar Beam is the question. And it lands, and the opponent nearly gets one-shotted from full health, gets the screenshot, and the opponent just rage quits and closes their app. And that is a GG. I was going to say, there's no way the opponent doesn't shield that after he commits the shield, but uh, the opponent had no idea that, that Latios knew Solar Beam, and to be honest, I didn't either, but that was so much damage. That was nearly a full health Azu, so absolutely crazy boom there, and a two-shielded opponent surrenders there, so GG. That is now the second opponent that has surrendered to the Latios and Latias, and we have a Licky Licky here, so pretty decent matchup, honestly, and they're staying in, so Probably going to cue him in here that they could be weak in the back. So yeah, not going to mess around baiting with a Zap Cannon. Just full sends the Focus Blast. And I really, really like this play. And yeah, going to respect an Earthquake as well. Thinking that his Reggie's probably going to have play in the back. And it looks like he's just going to commit to the full lock on farm down here, which I really like. And actually gets it before they get to a move. So very nicely done there. And the opponent brings in a Hypno, which is not the best answer to the Reggie. So very well could even have something else weaker in the back to the Reggie. So... I like this play a lot. Gonna safe switch into the Latios, and it's a Shadow Dragonite. So no wonder the opponent did not switch out to the Licky Licky matchup, because le this Dragonite, despite having superpower, does not want to see the Reggie. And those Dragon Tails did so much, but gets it pretty low and gets a shield, and now snipes with the Latios. Beautiful play. I was gonna say could bring in the Reggie there and force the energy, but recognizes that his Latios can snipe and just fully farm down the Hypno, and the opponent again surrenders to the Shadow Latch. Yes, you love to see it, so very nice gameplay so far by Poke Dan here. These opponents just honestly unprepared for the double Psychic Dragon backline. And I think we only have one more, so again, just a set of five here from Poke Dan. So gonna be a bit shorter, but uh, so far we have not been disappointed with the gameplay. So the last battle here, we have an Alolan Marowak, and this one is actually running Hex, so not really great for us and definitely cannot switch into our dragons in the back and he's gonna just stay in and throw the zap cannon which i like but the opponent here is building up a lot of energy and when a hex awok builds up a lot of energy you have to be thinking fire blast so we'll have to see if he respects this and he actually is gonna call it and it's a flame wheel so what a crazy call there I was going to say, there's no way this is not a Fire Blast, but the opponent actually running Flame Wheel, so very interesting by the opponent. And they actually are running Shadow Bone as well, so... Unfortunately, that, um, that Shadow Bone does get the debuff, and now... This is going to be a bit tricky. It looks like the Skarmory may actually be able to farm down here if they, if they choose to do so. And I'm not sure that Latios is even going to be able to force a shield off this Skarmory, because these Air Slashes are doing a lot of damage, and so far... We've seen that his Latios and his Latios really have had nowhere to run against this opponent's team. So a little bit rough. And he actually does get to the Dragon Claw on very low HP. So very clutch there by the Latios. And probably going to be getting a shield. And that's perfect. Because now he can come in the Reggie with a Reggie here. And just absorb all this energy. 
and probably is going to be looking to save his shield for the latch, yes, I would guess, because we've already seen that the, the opponent has two pretty nice answers to the the Psychic Dragons, so I would imagine that they don't have the third answer to it, and that's exactly what Pokédan's thinking here. Just lets it go, gets the charm down on the Skarmory, what's going to be in the back? I'm imagining they're not going to bring back in the Awok, and they have a Whizcash, actually, so this is not what we were hoping to see, because... I think he's going to have to call a Mud Bomb or shield the Blizzard. If he shields a Mud Bomb, I think it's GG. And unfortunately, does shield at the last second, and it's a Mud Bomb. And now, the Whiskash is going to get to the Blizzard here. And that will easily be one-shotting this Latias. And unfortunately, it is the Blizzard. So GG there. Really, really tough team comp for him there. Not sure... Really not sure there's much he could have done. Because I think even if he calls the Mud Bomb there... It still does a lot of damage, and then that the hexes probably on the AWOC just farm down. So, really, really cool games. We did get to see an Azu get beamed to the face with two shields, which you love to see. And we saw some very meta mons top lefting to the Latias as well. So, thanks again to Pokey Dan for sending these in. Really cool battles, man. And uh, again, I've already said this. Please feel free to submit battles to me, guys. It will help me get some more regular content out on this channel. And again, Anywhere from 5 to 10 battles is, is totally fine. If you send me 5, the video will be a bit shorter like this. But uh, 10 battles will get you like a regular 20 to 25 minute video. So once again, I do want to say uh, something a little bit different than my normal outro. Because I've noticed on my YouTube studio that we have like around 500 returning viewers to the channel. And we're sitting at about 350 subs right now. So if you guys are coming back to my content, feel free to uh, subscribe if you have not subscribed. Because... The more subscribers we can get, the more Pokemon my wife will let me play.